Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Plexter M9 PEY Plus. This is a SSD drive using the NVMe PCI Express Gen 3 X4 technology and architecture as you can see right there on the box five years warranty they really stand behind their product as you can see and it comes in different flavors obviously i've got here the one that's the half height half length with a bracket that you can exchange comes in three different flavors 256 512 and one terabyte i've got the one terabyte as you can see here running at these awesome insanely fast sequential read and write speeds you can pause the screen at any time here if you're curious about what it said on the box and uh, we're going to put that to the test in just a moment with some benchmarks. Now, looking at the Marvel 88SS 1092 controller, that's really what's going to drive this, along with the 3D NAN technology from Kyokchia, as you can see right there, okay, that TLC NAN. And, uh, well, really fast results is what we're expecting out of here on my benchmarks. We want things to boot up in seconds, okay? We don't want to wait, and we want lots of space and this one terabyte drive is meant to last, okay? So I really like the fact that uh, they're really getting larger and larger, these drives, and faster, so it's amazing. Now, with this heat sink, I'm really looking forward also to keeping the temperatures down, okay? Now, as you can see right here, also on the specs, it does come with a half-height bracket as the accessory, so keep that in mind. It's lightweight. Yes, it's small. It's very thin. It doesn't get in the way of anything. Uh, has RGB lighting design. I'll show you that in just a moment as well. But I'm really more uh, looking at something that's uh, lasting in performance, high speed, heat resistant. You know, those are the things that are going to make this thing last a long time. So there's the half height bracket that you can take out the one that's the full size bracket, depending on the case that you, uh, you know, my, maybe you're making a small uh, multimedia PC or something like that. Um, there's the card itself. You know, the PCI Express X4. Is what you want speeds you can see there the bracket nothing special just some holes there for the air to flow through but i do like the design of that heat sink with those lines going through so the air is flowing through that heat sink and cooling it off at the top you've got a light bar okay not this red portion here that doesn't light up I'm talking about the top part that's the light bar and um well what, what else can i tell you it's it's slim right you can see how thin it is from the top and uh, I'm going to install this now so you guys can see it up and running uh, with all its glory and the lights uh, turning on. But again, don't expect uh, too much when it comes to controlling those lights because what, what it is is, you know, it shows red when you power it on and it changes to different colors when it's in standby mode. And uh, it'll show a full spectrum of RGB when you're, you know, reading and writing and doing other types of tasks. But this is the system, again, that I have it installed in. You can see it right there doing its thing. Um... Yes, it does coordinate with my motherboard, actually, because I do have an RGB uh, system here, and uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind the colors uh, doing its thing. It looks pretty cool, like I said, and depending on the type of case that you have, and if you have an open window on the side, you can show it off, which looks pretty nice as well. And, uh, well, let's um, go in now and um, look at it from this angle. You can see, again, the light will change a little bit, reading or writing, or if it's on standby, you know, different colors means different things, right? It says it all in the uh, in the manual. Now, when it comes to benchmarks, we're looking first at the temperatures, so on average around 31 degrees Celsius. If I run it at full load, meaning doing a lot of benchmarks and transferring on it, it might go up to 33 degrees Celsius. Big deal, doesn't break a sweat, runs nice and cool. Now, the Addo Disk benchmark here for the sequential read and writes, bang on the money, you can see right there these results. Awesome, I'm very happy to see that it lives up to what it advertises on the box. And I ran other benchmarks that are slightly different to see if I get consistency. And you can see here also the crystal disk mark concurred with those results. It gave me very similar results, if not almost close to, to, to being matching that. So I'm really impressed here that we're getting consistency. The AS SSD benchmark also showed me some really high results. So I'm really pleased to see that as well. So we're getting some high Input and output operations per second, okay, so the IOPS also, we want to see fast operations, not just the bandwidth and the speed, the capabilities obviously to push data back and forth and transfer files such as ISO files, you can see they're really, really fast. So booting up Windows is going to take seconds, literally less than five seconds, depending on how much stuff you've got. Mine boots up really, really quick. Now. On the um, read test suite and on the performance test 9.0, it ranked it really high. I must say, uh, this uh, blew a lot of the older generation SSDs out of the water, as you can see right there. So the score of 24 
400, I took that and compared it to other newer generation SSDs so that way we get a more fair result. So you can see here how it compares to these other SSD drives. Now, of course, some of those are more expensive than this one. And I'll add the latest pricing on this below in the description in case you're, you're uh, wondering. So again, PC Mark 10 compared it against these other drives. So you can see it right there. Definitely uh, love this drive. The speed of it is just amazing. Make sure you're running it though at X4 speed. So Gen 3 X4. So the utility here that they provide you tells you all those details. It tells you the temperature, tells you um, the smart details, meaning all the features that it comes with, how much it's been written to, things like that. You can secure format it. Definitely, you know, a beautiful looking card, keeps itself nice and cool, I gotta say, with that heat sink, and the RGB lighting is a nice little effect to have on there, so if you really want to have a cool thing, this is really nice to have in a system with other components such as these. If you're interested in any of other video reviews that I've done, you can click on one of these uh, right now. And I'd like to thank Plexter for providing it. You can visit their website at goplexter.com for more details, and the latest pricing again is mentioned below in the description. Comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.